Hi dear students, this is Mita Patil. In this video, let us talk about auxiliary verbs in detail. Idanu kannar dali sahai ka kriya padagalu yendu kariyuttari. The definition, a verb which helps other verbs to form different tenses is known as auxiliary verbs. Yava kriya padagu innondu kriya padakke kalagalanu tiliyalu sahaya madu tadiyo adu sahaya ka kriya padavagi di. Let us talk about kinds of auxiliary verbs. So there are mainly two kinds of auxiliary verbs. First one is primary auxiliaries and second one is model auxiliaries. So the first one is primary auxiliaries in that we will come to about three forms. First one is be form, second one is do forms, third one is have forms. So be forms are am, is, are was and were and do forms are do does and did and have forms are has have and had so these all are the primary auxiliaries second one is model auxiliaries so in present tense we will use can may will and shall then in past tense we will use could might would should must, dare to, used to, ought to and had to. So these all are the model auxiliaries. Let us come to know about the first one that is primary auxiliaries. So in that first one is B forum and the B forms are am, is, are, was and were. Let us come to know about the example here. I am not late. So here before not we can use am also. And I am late. So here am is a be form. He is late. Then he isn't late. So in negative sentences also we can use the be form. And in positive sentences also we can use the be form. The positive sentences are we are late. You are late. Uh, they are late. I was late, we were late. So these all are the positive sentences and here I am not late, he isn't late, we aren't late, you aren't late, they aren't late, I wasn't late, we weren't late. So these all are the negative sentences. So, and here am, is, are and was, where are the be forms. Let us talk about second one. That is do forms. So the verb do, the verb to do has four forms. So that is do, does, did and done. So in present tense we use do and does. Then in past tense we use did. Then in past participle that is done. Let us come to know about the examples. First one is present tense do or does. So after I, we, you, they, we use do. Then after he, she, it, we use done. So let us come to about the examples. I do my laundry on Sunday. So here after I, we use do. Then he does nothing all day. Then you do, sorry. Do you attend his school? So in question also we can use do here. And does he work, work here? So here we use uh, do and does in present tense. The second one is past tense. That is did. So I did my work in recorded time. So it talks about the past thing. So what was happening in the happened in the past i did some shopping today and i did not want it she didn't feel the cat this morning they didn't came today so here also we can use the positive sentences and also the negative sentences then the third example is past participle that is done so remember that past participle are accompanied by to have or to be. 
The examples are I have done my homework. He has done a good job. The video will show you how it is done. The report was done on time. So these all are the examples of do forms. Then the third primary auxiliary verb forms are have forms. Let us talk about the uses of that. Savita has common sense. So here this has talks about the poses that is position. Malikatva atva hondudu. Then the second example is they have coffee at 8. So here it talks about the take. So what we have taken. So now uta madu da girbodu atva kudiyo da girbodu tinu da girbodu adar bagi in martatidu have an oath word here today. Then the third one is Divya had fever. So here we will come about the experienced. So what she had experienced. So he gain anudhava agirate and other bagili namge gotagat. And let us come to about the more examples. How plus two. So it is called infinite verb and it talks about the command. So here we will come about the commanding thing. The examples are you have to be meet at evening. So here it talks about they have to meet for any condition at the evening. Then the second example is they have to answer my questions. Do or die, we don't know. But they have to answer the question. And this talks about the command. You have to explain the reason to me. So here in this sentence also we will come to know about the command. Then next one is how plus to infinite expresses obligation. So here we will come to know about the obligation. Obligation means lord, lordship. Nirbhanda atva kattupadu. The examples are she has to live with her parent. So here in this sentence we will come now about the obligation. She has to live with her parents. Then she he has to pass exam for his future. So for his future he has to uh, pass the exam. So here also we will come now about the obligation then they have to wait for better days then uses of had so uh, it is the past form of the transitive have and has so it is the past form of the verb have and has the helping verbs so let us come to the examples i had two slices of cake she had a book. They had lunch. So this is all about primary auxiliary work. Thank you.